Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing the models in algebraic expression. In this time, we have the square of a binomial. So we're now in our third lesson under these models in algebraic expressions. Notice that the square of a binomial. In short, we have a binomial, let's say our binomial is A plus B. The first and second term separated by the plus sign, then square. So if we're going to expand this, the equivalent of that is A plus B times A plus B. A plus B times A plus B. Now, getting the product, we use the FOIL method. So, square the first term, or, or a times a, that is a squared. Next, a times b, that is positive a b. Next, b times a, that is positive a b. And b times b, that is positive b squared. This is now the product. Then, combine like terms a squared plus ab plus ab, that is 2ab, then plus capi b squared. So this is the final answer. So notice that we can come up with our shortcut. So all we need to do is we square the first term, we square the first term. Second, so we multiply A and B. So multiply the first first term by the second term. Then times 2, then times 2, and the third, square the second term, square the second term, okay. This will be our shortcut. So square the first term, second, multiply the first term and the second term times 2, and the third, square the second term. So let us try here. So you square the first term, that will give us a squared. Multiply the first by the second term, so ab times 2 plus 2ab. Square the second term plus b squared. Okay, let us try example. So number one, let's say we have 2c minus 2d raised to 2. Square the first term, 2 squared, that is 4. c squared, that is c raised to 2. Next, multiply the first and the second term. Or we can use this m. So multiply the first and the second term. That is 2c times negative 2d. That is negative 4cd times 2. So negative 8cd. Let us repeat. Multiply the first term and the second term. 2c times negative 2d, negative 4c times 2, negative 8cd. Then square the second term, positive. 4d squared. Why positive? If we're going to multiply negative times negative, that will give us positive. So 2 is square, that is 4, then d is square. Number 2. 5m plus 1 squared. Square the first term, that is 20 
5 m squared multiply first term and the second term that is 5 m times 1 5 m times 2 so positive 10 m then square the second term 1 times 1 is positive so notice in our sign, if we have a minus sign in our binomial, so our pattern is positive, negative, positive. We have a positive sign for the binomial. All our terms are positive. Now, can you try number three? Let's say we have 3x minus 5y raised to 2. If you want to try number three, post the video. And answer after answering, resume watching to check your answers. Square the first term. That is 9x squared. Multiply the first term and the second term. Negative 15xy times 2. Negative 30xy. Then square the second term. Negative. 5y times negative 5, positive 25y squared. Did you get the same answer? Very good. And for our last example, let's say we have 1 third k minus 2 fifth h raised to 2. If you want to try number four, pause the video. Then after answering, resume watching to check your answers. Now let's check. Square the first term. So one square, that is one over three square, that is nine. Variable is k. So k squared. Multiply the first term times the second term. So 1 times 2, 1 times 2, that is 2 times, so we have 2 over 3 times 5, 15. But don't forget to multiply it by 2. So we need to multiply that by 2 because we have times 2. So if we're going to simplify this, 2 will be cancelled out. So this will give us... 1 over 1 over 15 and the variable is kh again let us repeat 1 times negative 2 that is negative 2 all over 3 times 5 that is 15 but we need to times 2 so times 2 so 2 will be cancelled out so the remaining is one. That's why we have 1 here, 1 over 15. So we have the variable kh. And square the last term, positive 2 square, that is 4 over 5 square, 25. And for the variable h squared. This will be the final answer. So that is the square of a binomial. Square the first term. Multiply the first and the second term times 2, and square the second term. Memorize this shortcut. And the importance of this is you're going to need this in your grade 9, grade 10, grade 11, and grade 12 for the pre calculus Thank you for watching Senior Pablo T. See you in our next lesson. The square of a trinomial.